Hello, everybody. Okay, so when you've got a filter like this under your sink and you don't want to use it anymore, or it's making the water run so slow that it's useless to you until you buy another one, you take it out of the line. Now, how do you do that? Well, guess what? It turns out I figured it out. You see this kind of plumbing right here? This is pressure fitted plumbing that adjusts itself according to what you need and it has no issue with cutting or screwing things tight or wrenches or gaskets or anything. It's pretty cool. Do you have this kind of a fitting? Well, I noticed that this turns separately from this that turns separately from this turns out there's a little see this little separator right there if you push right there this whole piece comes off now don't let that scare you as it comes off you're like oh no what do I do now well it turns out this is a pressure piece as well okay see that little gap right there you push that gap towards the thing and it pops right a quick interruption for this little gem which was staring at me laying right over here I heard something come loose but I didn't know what it was so if you have this it took me a little while to figure it out but right there do you see that little notch that notch goes up in that hole up here in in this And it just pops out then when it goes back in you press in and you'll feel it catch tug on it and it won't come back out once it's re once it's reattached you can see that it'll flex for the pressure of the water but it will not come back off no cutting required and then of course that's where I use this to just redirect it right to that and bypass the filter Okay, we're back. So, take two. This slips on to there. We talked about that. That's on now. As you can see, it's flexible. If you push here, it comes off. You can cut it to the length you want, press it back on. It stays on. Then this small end goes on, and you can take it up. Now, you want to adjust this out a little bit so that these two are even this little ring right here where my thumbs are right there you push on that and it lets you adjust it out to the end there see how that goes and you can push it in or pull it out so i'm leaving mine right there where the tip is even with the end see how they're flush all right then here this is when the black rubber gasket goes on so you've got the gray one that I put on in there earlier and slipped inside, and this one goes on there. Now we're ready to attach. Now, once the threads first catch, don't be fooled. The threads catch and it tightens down and you think, oh, I'm done, but you're not. You see, you have to actually, there's, see that space right here? That little, that little lip, that has to disappear. You actually get tight then all of a sudden it'll go past that point and then get loose again and when you get loose again then see now that gap is gone that gap is gone this is good see all is well there is no screwing no tightening no nuts no bolts I could if I wanted to shorten this up or move this I could just cut this pull that little piece out and put this back in it has no um, no fittings or or anything. It's really really nice. Pretty good for Holiday Rambler, 20 years old, huh? All right. We now have completed our final pressure test, and as you can see by the walls, there was a few little troubles, but it just happened to be that this was not pushed in far enough, and this was in too close. 
and this did not go on all the way see that part right there that's got to go all the way to that bottom piece to know that you've got a good tight seal all right make sure that this one doesn't get loosened up that's kind of got loosened all the way while we were working on the other one okay pressure's on all is well